Yeah, the tropics really ramping up. Over the weekend, we were watching Hannah. Now we're also continuing to watch portions of the Atlantic, where Invest 92L is rotating. We'll tell you about that uh, and what's going on with that in the coming days. But first, let's focus on Hannah. We know that if you've seen any of the headlines from this, it's been a rainmaker for parts of Texas and Mexico right now. The storm fairly weak, but not changing the fact that there's still more rain to come from this for northern Mexico. Those winds currently checking in at 25 miles per hour and it's moving at a slow westerly movement of five miles per hour. So a tropical depression as of right now, we're expecting this system to continue to weaken over uh, the next day or so, but even still there's plenty of rain with it. We've seen flash flooding, mudslides, landslides, all of the above over the past couple of days. So we're still going to monitor Hannah here uh, as it continues to be a rainmaker for portions of northern Mexico. More weakening is expected. All right, now let's go out into portions of the Atlantic. This is Invest 92L. This is basically uh, an area, a very disorganized area that we're watching for. It has showers and thunderstorms associated with it. Uh, it's it has a large uh, surface that it's covering. It's a very big storm right now, but we're expecting it to become a little better organized as it moves into better uh, environmental conditions here over the next couple of days, likely becoming our next named storm. So a tropical depression, possibly a tropical storm. Does it have impact for the Caribbean and for the United States? Possibly. A 90% chance of development as of right now. The Leeward Islands are who are going to have to watch for this here in the short term. And then the models take it near Puerto Rico by the end of our week. So it will be something for us to watch. Still too early for us to tell if it will have impacts here in South Florida. But again, your first alert weather team will be keeping a close eye on this here as we go through the next couple of days.